Hey guys, Passive Baller here. We are now on this second game or second prediction for December 25, 2021 NBA game day. This is the game between Boston Celtics with a record of 16 and 16 and Milwaukee Bucks, the home team, with a record of 21 and 13. This one will be played 2.30 in the afternoon Eastern time, so that's going to be 3.30 a.m. here in the Philippines. So pretty much right after that Atlanta-New York game. This is pretty exciting, man. I got to buy some food to watch these games. All right, let's take a look at uh, the standings of these two uh, teams first. And um, let's start off with Milwaukee Bucks. They are at number three in the Eastern Conference. Uh, and for their last 10 games, they've won six. Approaching this game, Milwaukee is actually having back-to-back -back wins. For Boston Celtics, they are at number eight. For their last 10 games, they've only won four. But approaching this game, they're actually coming off a win. All right. And before we proceed, I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Passe Baller, please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on the bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. All right. Uh, Milwaukee Bucks, they're having the home court advantage. That that's one point. Uh, fatigue factor, that's, uh, let's forget about that for the meantime because uh, uh, all teams had their rest um, uh, yesterday. Uh, momentum, that's quite obvious. We got to give it to Milwaukee Bucks. You know, they, you know, they've been looking good. Form is, form is okay. Uh, approaching this game, they're, they're, they're coming off back-to-back -back wins. So that's already two points for Milwaukee Bucks. Um, let's take a look at um, the people who would be out or who would not be available for this game. Milwaukee Bucks, David Senso, Brooke Lopez, they are still not available, and Yanis is joining them um, as Yanis is actually uh, observing the protocols. So those are three uh, very good players out for Milwaukee Bucks. Now if we take a look at Boston Celtics, wow, man, they have a lot of players out. And I mean a lot. Yeah. Uh, do, do, do they have the most number of players out? I'm not sure. Grant Williams, uh, Hauser, Richardson, Freedom, Fernando, Harford, Miles, Jackson, Hernan Gomez, Langford, Parker, Neesmith, Thomas, and Marcus Smart is actually, uh, Marcus Smart and Langford, they're actually on game time decision. So we have 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 players um, uh, confirmed out, and we got Smart and Langford uh, as game time decision. So I'm not sure if they're if we are proceeding with this game. I don't see any postponement yet, or maybe uh, Boston Celtics uh, they were able to get some temporary players to you know to represent them on this game. But uh, it's just crazy, man. That's just a lot. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm gonna make this one quick. Uh, and not just because um, not just because uh, they have um, a lot of players out. It is also because Milwaukee Bucks is really really good. I'm gonna decide with Milwaukee Bucks here, uh, and I, I think everyone would actually join me with on that side, right? Milwaukee, um, looking at the spread, it's minus seven. I think they can cover that. I know Yanis is not there, but <laughs> man, they have a whole lot of uh, they have a whole lot of players out there who can get the job done even without Yanis, especially. Uh, with this kind of Boston Celtics lineup, um, I think the one who uh, the ones who would just carry this team would be um, uh, Tatum and uh, Brown. If ever Smart will be playing, uh, he ain't gonna be at a hundred percent. So, yeah, I'm I'm gonna side with Milwaukee Bucks. Um, I think this one should not be should not be tough for them to cover. All right, Milwaukee Bucks minus seven, Bucks minus seven. Peace out, passe love, God bless. Again, Merry Christmas.